is in your face. So second store update, as you can see we are on the eBay seller hub here, uh, it's currently the 18th of January, I've not done an update for a few days but to be honest there's not been a lot going on, not really listed much or anything like that. In fact over the last 14 days I haven't really done all that much on this store, as I mentioned in the first update actually, um, essentially it's, ju it's just a little second store, I'm just putting a few items on there, do doing a few auctions mainly, uh, you know building it up a little bit possibly. Um, but not going like crazy on it or anything it's just something it's just something different to do a nice little new project for me and also a way in which i can kind of test out auctions a little bit more because uh, i want to as i said i want to kind of test out auctions a little bit more on this store and i will talk a little bit a little bit about how that's going in a second um but yeah so i've not really done that much on this store i don't want to give the appearance that i have been doing a lot on this store um and obviously that's reflective in the sales i've literally got one sale on here um obviously i could be listing 10 items a day on this store over the last two weeks and what be up to about 140 items or something on this store already but it's not that isn't the kind of thing i'm going for it wasn't the thing i set out to do or anything like that as i say as i mentioned it's just kind of uh, a little store so with that being said uh 11.48 in sales i did have a few that went unsold so that's making me feel I need to somewhat revise, well definitely revise something I'm doing, but possibly revise the auction model, which I don't really want to do, but it's possibly something I need to look at. If it's not that I need to revise the auction model, I certainly need to maybe look at item specific stuff like that, because as you can see here, I mean some of these items, in fact all these, I think it was about these here I put on today, is it that one? That one I put on today, that one I put on today, that one I put on today, that one I put on today. These were realists, and then that one, which is a buy it now, I actually did put a buy it now on this store. That one I put on today. So I actually put on the majority of these items today. There's only four that were that were currently on. But you can see, even with the four that are currently on, I mean, these have been on for a good few days now. They're actually coming to the end of the run. And we've got 19 views on this one here, 8 views on that one, 10 views, 10 views. So it definitely makes me feel, hmm... Maybe I need to look at the item specifics. Yeah, I know some people may argue about photos, but to be honest, I don't want to put 12 photos for the sake of putting 12 photos, especially when it's on something that's brand new and sealed and that just doesn't warrant 12 photos. It doesn't necessarily need 12 photos. My titles are pretty decent. My titles are okay, so it's not making me think that the, the lack of views are from my titles. I think it's probably going to be something to do with item specifics. So what I might do is actually go in possibly later on today, actually, and amend some of the item specifics. Maybe, well, not amend them, but actually add to them and add a few more in there just to see if that actually has a reflection on the views. Now, currently, I am not running promoted listings. I'm not running a sale. I'm not doing any promotions of any sort. So obviously, uh, that's... That also gives an indication that maybe, as we, as a lot of people think, promoted and sales and things like that are of more importance than, well, some people think or are of good good importance like some others actually believe they are. For, for me personally, I do think that if you're not running promoted, you're going to be struggling to get sales. I know that people, there's people out there who say, well, you know, I do promoted and my sales are okay and that's fair enough, but... From what I've seen with doing promoted, when I don't do promoted, my sales are really bad. And when I do, or when I run a sale, or when I send offers to watches, or whatever it may be, uh, my sales and views and everything are, are, are better. So, yeah, I don't know with that, but it's nice to actually look on a small store as well, of just 12 items. Because you can really start to see what's going on, and where the issues lie, and also you can actually see in detail on specific items. You can do that on a larger store, but when you've got over a thousand items, it's very, very hard and it's very demotivating as well. You don't want to go in there and look at individual items because you've got so many items available and it, it just it gets overwhelming kind of thing, as you would expect. So it's really nice to kind of do a bit of, you know, analysis or do, I was going to say that analytic research, do a bit of analytic research on this. So I am going to be looking at this, looking at the views. And also, I don't know whether you can, uh, well, I've not got a store or anything. I've got a business account, but I, so I would assume I could set up promoted listings with this. Um, I don't really want to if I can avoid it. 
because obviously it's just extra fees at the end of the day, even if I was putting it on 1% or something like that. Um, but yeah, it might be so. I'm going to look into a few different things anyway, uh, and we'll see if we can't increase these views on these items because it does seem a little bit odd that we are getting, well, pretty few views. Obviously, bar all these ones because these ones have just gone on. You can see I've got a view on a, a couple of these here, but literally these were put on minutes ago. You can see six days, 23 hours, 38 minutes. So 22 minutes ago, these were put on. In fact, these ones here were put on about 14 minutes ago. So yeah, that's fine on those really, but we'll have to see anyway. I'm going to I've got some also, actually, I'll just go through a few of the items I've got on here um, just within this update. So I put on one of these LEGO Speed Champion sets here, um, which that should go up. That should probably get maybe 20, 20, 25 quid on auction for that one, I would expect anyway. Certainly, I'm going to get the maiden bid of, of 15 quid there on that one. Uh, I'll just add that for ages. I want it gone. It was just in a box. So, yeah, I just want that gone. Um, I think, did we, have these gone on? I think they went on a few days ago, yeah. Um, so then we've got another Lego set there again, something I just want gone, I would expect that, that to get a bid anyway. Uh, we've got another Doctor Who set, set again, something I just want gone, so put that on at 4 .99. It might get a bid, uh, I picked this up from, from a charity shop, I think I might have showed this in a video, I'm not sure whether I did or not. But I paid a four, uh, 4 quid for it, I've got that on at 12 .99 on auction. I think I said I might have, I might have said in the, uh, vid the whole video that I was going to put that on at 12 .99. So I got that on, that Brickhead didn't sell, that... Uh, Dot 2 figure didn't sell, and that uh, Star Wars figure didn't sell. Uh, now, I've actually put these down in price. Uh, just I did mention on another video that I was going to put them down in price because I want to see on those. I did have a couple of watches on that um, Lego Brickheads, so now I've put it down in price. Possibly that will uh, make people kind of think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put a bid in on that one. Uh, but I want that Star Wars thing gone. It doesn't owe me anything, that Star Wars thing, and I'd, I'd, I'd like that gone, so that's on at six ninety nine. And then I put this Game for Fame on which I got from a charity shop the other day I actually I literally picked it up about two three days well no four or five days ago now but I still can't remember what I paid for it I, I went into the shop I bought it and I literally can't even remember what I paid for it it's it, that's weird I think I paid maybe four three or four quid for it but I, I actually can't remember but anyway I've put that on buy it now for 23 95 it seemed that sort of 20 to 25 quid with what we were going for on buy it now so I thought you know what we'll do a bit of an experiment on buy it now on this store as well and work just a couple of items and see um, how fast that goes at 23 95 because because that's kind of it's touching the slightly higher end, but yeah, it'll be interesting anyway to do that. So yeah, that's a few of the other items I've got on. So I've got 12 listings currently on, 23.95 fixed priced, zero auctions that will sell. I will update you further on later on in the week, possibly it's Saturday now. Uh, so I'll update you later on in the week at... Uh, you know, if I get any bids on some of this stuff, which I do expect it this time around, and obviously when I get the sales as well. So, yeah, it'll be interesting, and I will also update you on uh, the views, how the views are going, and possibly I'm going to do a bit of looking into, I might even do that right now, actually, do a bit of looking into analytics and stuff, and see possibly where I can increase those views, because it does intrigue me a little bit, and I want to uh, find out where this lack of views is coming from. So, with that being said, guys, I'll leave it there for this update, just a quick one, probably, I don't know, five, six minute update, maybe a bit longer. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it there for this one and I will update you in due course with some more information about the store. Watch it, I'll slow down.